So, do we have one version of this one? Yep. Is that correct? Okay. Yeah. Great. I, like I love this plan. I can see it's very big into a digital lab work, so we yeah. really wanted to make sure that we yeah, had and access. It's, yeah, and it's a little weird having, you know, if, if he's going to do most of the lab work here, mm -hmm. then the shipping and receiving aspect of why you link sterilization is a little less important. I agree. A little less important. Mm -hmm. um, it's not unimportant. I, I, he wants people to be able to see into the lab on their way out. Is that what the plan is? Yeah. Um, make sure they're soundproof because it's going to be digital. There will still be somebody grinding something there. It's kind of like nice too. With that, that noise running off. straight across. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything okay. that gets dropped off material um, for that lab. This is this is the vestiges of breakaway here Where? with the separate checkout. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. It's big enough. This is an office big enough to accommodate separate checkout. Mm -hmm. For a seven chair with separate checkout is just a, such a bad mm -hmm. idea. But they can have this flow work. It's weird as a patient. I mean, you come in here, your car's parked out here, and then you're gonna look. It's weird, right? I'm not like maybe the cars are parked. Uh, cars parked here, hopefully. Because if you get get out this door, it's like you get kicked out the club. You gotta walk out. About to get to you know the alley. I, I get it, but I I. I mean, why don't you just go to go to chair site checkout? So, and I don't so think the we've whole... actually gotten the site plan yet because he's still working on. So right now he's kind of in a holding pattern because the uh, the land still needed a survey done and mm -hmm. a geotech assessment. So it. where it's going to position and how parking exactly is going to be, so, I think he's got some questions. So with that. I, I would have the discussion. We designed <clears> this <throat> because you know you originally come from the breakaway thinking, mm -hmm. and and. You know, the, the main ethos was to have separate checkout and separate separate exit for surgical patients and sedated patients, very important. So here's the discussion you need to have with all of these, all of y'all, y'all people that are like infected with this thinking is there's two parts. There's separate exit for surgical and sedation mm -hmm. patients that is not necessarily linked to separate checkout. Correct. And you can very easily do separate do checkout for those patients. You can do it for all the patients, or you could choose to do separate checkout for sedation and surgical patients at chair side, and then eliminate separate checkout and just have separate <coughs> exit. And we think that that is a much more, not only comprehensible by the patient, because they're exiting then, most of the normal patients are exiting where they came in. I mean, you know, if you go out the, you ever go out the separate door, the, the wrong door in the Home Depot? Yeah. And then so yeah, the like, like, where the hell am I? <laughs> okay, it's disorienting. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you and don't especially because it's not on the same side of the building. Yeah, right. Yeah, you will not want to do that. Okay, and so, so I mean, I, that can be a discussion here. And so, but simultaneously, I would want a sedation patient to be parked here. Like mm -hmm. you might even greet them to walk them in there. Mm -hmm. In a separate sedation entrance because they're already going out, want to come in. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I, I, I'd <laughs> rather have them be able to come in here. You may consider like the orientation of the building, so the entrance is here. I, you know, we have the, you know, the, this has the gamut of walking through your neighbors that you don't know issue. So I, I kind of don't like that. Uh, so I, that might be a challenge, and there may be an opportunity to reorient this somehow. Put um, the backs of chairs that way. Switch these couches so at least you're not. Not everyone's looking yeah, at you. But it may also be the, yeah. that the entrance is actually here. Oh, yeah, we can move the entrance. Okay, and if you have an exit there. Yeah. I mean, you still have to have the problem with an exit there is <clears throat> you're going to have people come to that door. I mean, it yeah. happens to Seacock because they're all on plane, because it's mm -hmm. a rental I was about that. location. I mean, people come to those other doors. <clears throat> and, and you come to the door and it's locked and you're already in a. So those are the, but those are the kind of things that that really matter because you already are setting up your new patient. 
If you don't know how to get in, it's one of the 17 elements. Mm -hmm. If you don't know how to obviously get in, you're already uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I see, we see sedation patients like buzz by the office. They'll actually drive in the parking lot in Westport, like two day one, two days before, to scope out how to get, because they're nervous about oh, like I've everything. They're I do that with school. Yeah. I go there a day early. There sure you go. Okay. Sorry, there you go. Oh, okay, so <laughs> other things on this plane because we're running out of time for Nina and, and Francis. Um, staff lounge has enough space. Bench and restaurant have enough space. They've got enough locker space. I mean, they have the things that are requirements for what they need to do. Uh, again, I think this is this is can be flexible. Imaging is close enough to the two sides. That's always a challenge. We'll see this in the next plan too. Um, I owner's office. I, doctor wants the doctor wants that, right? Yes, that's with the large private bath, with the shower. That's what he wants. He got close bigger than his office. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> give it to him. Um, and then the other four I, doctors share. I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I actually, I actually like yeah. the fact that this is a that's a, a good amount of space. I think that's this actually is a design that should recur. I think it's really good. It's no, the same way the, you know yeah. the Nicole's plan about a month ago with using that secondary crossover hallway and actually feeding off it. I, I think this is another thinking in kind that will turn into something that we'll we'll use more. And I would feel good as an associate doctor there. Uh, and they, can, they can scurry in and scurry out. Without yeah, it's, it's just really quick to get in and out, and it's yeah. connect across. Get, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I just think that's going to recur. It's great. I don't like that we don't have rapids on this side. They didn't want rapids. They didn't want rapids on that side because that's going to be mostly hygiene, and the hygiene and, doesn't have any rapids. Hygiene. And that's what they. That's what their thought was. Yeah. I remember that um, from the last call. So. Ask them if he's ever used a crystal mark air abrasion unit. Just ask him. Mm -hmm. And it might be the one thing that may be mobilized on this side. I have a script from Dr. Ray on that one. And because there's a whole bunch of treatment that doesn't wind up needing to wind up in mm -hmm. these rooms to take out a bunch of time if we can get it done right here. Mm -hmm. uh, and same day room turn around. Okay, great. One, one thing. Yeah. Um, is the checkout being set back like that? That's a request from the doctor. Yeah, okay. that's intentional. That's, yeah, yeah, they want people to be able to. That was one of the things right here, recessing the checkout that they wanted okay. to hide it. Because if not, they're out in traffic. And they want the consult oh, room where it is. Yeah. So although they do in-room checkout, they, you know, they feel like they're still going to have an influx of people that come to checkout. And then if they have financial questions, they could just bop into okay. where that okay. office manager can flow down. Yep. So makes yep. sense. Yep. Okay. And, and so. Again, a lot of this is their design. They were very yeah. specific yeah. in their which, vision. So, which is so, a lot easier to design. So here's the members. deal. Like, don't mess with this. Mm -hmm. Let them do it. It's a variant on a way to run an office. Already yeah. talked to them about the pros and cons. Yeah. Yeah. So don't, like, just, for, that was a blanket statement. When you get somebody that's absolutely clear and has been successful with the method, this method works. Mm -hmm. Something that doesn't work. And it, when you're big enough, you can staff this and that and have it fully staffed. Just like the restrooms outside of the waiting room, they were adamant about that too. Mm -hmm. we, we, one of the pros and cons, they understood mm -hmm. they were fine with having that. Yep. So, okay. Yep. That's why the hallway is like 10 feet wide there. I was just going to say, that I, was I was curious their request. So <laughs> hallway. Yeah. That's great. Okay, good. So we're, we're good yeah. there. <laughs> and that's fantastic.